Well, we have already seen the meaning of the word political party, we have seen the functions of political party, but are political parties so essential? What is the necessity of political parties? Well, my answer is already in the functions of various political parties that I have just explained to you. If all those functions are performed by political parties, what do you think? Are they required or not required? Well, let me talk further about it. Think of a situation without political parties in the country. Meaning to say, there is no segment called as political party. All the people, they just have to contest election independently. When such a thing happens, then what is going to happen? All of us are independent candidates. I carry a different ideology. You have a different policy and program. All of us get elected. That is different set of people. They get elected and we go and sit in the assembly. When we go and sit there, what happens? We are bickering, there are bickering, quarrels, fights. We are unable to reach to any conclusion. Well, because maybe, maybe it happens that even when people contest election in the name of a particular party and they disagree on certain points and programs of the party, but paying respect to their party and due to the fear of uh, being thrown out of the party, they are actually get, they actually get disciplined. Therefore, Political parties make them disciplined. But here what happens? We have nobody's fear, nobody's our head. All of us have different ideologies. I do whatever I want to, you do whatever you feel like. Chaos, total confusion. Well, I also feel and you also feel accountable to our own region. That is to the own set of people from where we have got elected. We try and please them only. We do not have any national agenda in our head because we cannot feel accountable to the country at large because we become just uh, very, very narrow in our approach and we try and please only that segment of people from where we are contesting election. So, for widening our scope, for thinking about the national interest, for keeping the unity of the country intact, we need to have political parties which keep the candidates disciplined in their approach. Therefore, political parties are very, very essential for the successful running of democracy. Well, you can always say that in India, we have been having panchayat elections without any party system. But children, if you go and actually see a panchayat election, you will see that the village itself gets divided into factions. That is people, they actually highlight and they get connected to a candidate in their own different way. That this means again factionalism. This means again they are getting attached to a candidate which itself is a way of doing what? Way of making a political party. And these candidates also, though they look independent, have been supported by various political parties and the people knowing fully well that he belongs to this particular party votes for that particular candidate. Well, you must understand whether on the surface we see political parties or we do not see political parties. The undercurrent is that there are political parties. This is the true picture of successful election in democracy. Well, I shall continue with representative democracy in the next clipping.